As with all gardens, we need to get to know them. And I certainly have found in this section of the garden that it is exceptionally dry. And there are some plants that really battle in it, particularly because it doesn't get much water. It gets water when it rains. And in winter, when there is no rain, we need to make sure that the soil is well mulched. But I also want the plants to learn to toughen up. And that is a concept which we really try and work on in this section of the garden because water, as we know, is expensive. So we've got to get these plants into the right mindset, if not force them there, to really learn to toughen up. But we do give them a great head start. So in this section over here, we had some ground covers, but as you can see, not doing really well. And I can tell you why. I can tell you exactly why, because I dig down, you can see heavy, heavy clay soil. So whenever we do plant in this garden, it really is difficult for plants to set root and quite an uninhabitable space. So whenever we do plant here, this awful stuff comes out and we replace it with the good stuff. And I want to pop in here some oh, beautiful Selaginella. Look at them. It's a mossy ground cover. And here's a lesson in this. If something does well in a section of your garden, repeat it. Because what that is going to do is give you a whole load of success. So let's get the soil out of here. So you might be wondering what is going to happen to that soil, all this awful soil that I'm taking out. Well, folks, what we do is we take this and we add it to the mulch pile and that soil through combination of the mulch, the organic material, ends up becoming really good soil. And then we can just reuse that in another spot in the garden. Now, folks, I've taken out about half of this horrible soil. And then what you've got left, we're then gonna work with that. So in number one goes in a large amount of compost. And choose a good brand, lovely. We filled it up there. And you can see, I mean, look at this. Beautiful, dark. Okay, and then, of course, can never be without some fairy dust, which of course is the bone meal. You can never add too much either. So a good one or two handfuls into this. And then very much like when we're preparing a potting soil for a potting recipe, I'm gonna add in some organic 315. Two handfuls. And now what we do is I simply work this in with the existing soil below. Hmm, look at the difference. I mean, you can already see we've gone from this to this. So level it out now, guys. And then this is where like good old hands come in handy, hey? I think I'm gonna put one, two, three of these. Cause you can't plant in ones. And even numbers are just so 70s. And then guys, all it is, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And in this little Selaginella goes. And remember when planting, try and get it to the same height that it was in the pot. Or maybe just a wee bit deeper. And firm it around a bit. And notice when we're planting, I'm working in a bit of a triangle. You know, never go one, two, three in a straight line. Your planting and when it grows, just doesn't give you that natural effect. It, all, it looks like a farmer growing cabbages. And the last few things I need to do is give them a good mulch. Some of that beautiful mulch which is from everything and anything that's been left over, cut, pruned, that's shredded. And we take that, and this gives just an extra little blanket to trap the moisture. And of course, as always, feed the soil. And now, let's give them a little drink and wish them happiness in their new home. <laughs>